Today we'll be doing a 15 minute speed clean. If you're not familiar with this concept, it is a great way to get yourself motivated when you're on a day when you don't feel like cleaning or if you don't have a lot of time. You simply set a timer for 10, 15, or 20 minutes and go ahead and clean as much as you can in the allotted amount of time. This may not get you the entire room clean, but it sure will get you started and just think about it, you did a little bit today instead of nothing. So go ahead and grab your cleaning supplies, rags, gloves, and anything else you might need and let's get to cleaning together. Come on. Okay, so I'm gonna start ahead and just go ahead and put my timer on for 15 minutes. 15 minutes is always a good amount of time. I like to do 20 usually, but 20 can sometimes be pretty daunting for people. So 15 is always like a good mix. You can get enough done. So the concept really is just to get as much cleaning done as you can in 20 minutes. It helps you just do a quick kickstart, especially when you're feeling overwhelmed by everything already. There's no reason to add more pressure to yourself. So I like to start by putting all the dishes into the dishwasher and that way excuse me into the sink or the dishwasher depending on what you have this house does not have a dishwasher so i'm just going to collect all my dishes bring them over to the sink and go ahead and get to washing gotten all the dishes done so while those are starting to dry I'm gonna go ahead and spray some of the surfaces that I need to and pick up the remainder of stuff that's sitting out. Oh I missed some dishes. Uh oh. So I'm just spraying some stuff on the stovetop and the countertops as well. Now, some of the areas of the countertops are still covered, so I might wait on the countertops actually and just go ahead and wipe this up. I'm not doing any kind of deep cleaning. I'm really just trying to get food and stuff off the surface. Now, usually I would do this correctly and use real cleaner. I'm just gonna wipe it real quick. Now I'm gonna go ahead and dry these so that we can get the countertop dried off and get moving since we have six minutes left. One thing to remember when you're doing a speed clean like this, it's not to make yourself feel bad. Like don't tell yourself, oh my God, I only have 10 minutes. I'm never gonna get this whole kitchen clean. It's okay. Just get what, what you can done. This is a great technique for days when you're unmotivated or don't have a lot of time. You just wanna get something done and something accomplished. Okay, we've just finished our 15 minute speed clean and we got a lot done. A few things to remember when you're using this tool. This is great for if you're feeling unmotivated or just need to get up and move because cleaning is cardio. Another thing is to remember you won't get everything done within this 15 minutes or even 20 minute timer. Sometimes it's just a great way to get yourself started or to do a few tasks around the house, especially when you don't really wanna do them. So thank you so much for joining me today and thank you to my in-laws for letting me clean their cottage kitchen today since we haven't fully moved into our new home yet. I appreciate your guys' help and don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to Home Reimagined for more cleaning and home content. And I will see you next time. Thank you.